Hello YouTube. Right, today I'm going to show you how to fit one of these. This is what you call a tank bib. Or tank bra, tank pad, tank bag. But anyway, you can buy these, you can pick them up for a fairly reasonable price. And uh, they're just something that you can slip your disc lock in or, or, or something like that. And um, so it's easy to hand for when you use it, for, for when you need it. Now I'm going to show you how to fit it to the tank. As you can see, it's a bit dusty at the moment, but as you can see, I've painted the tank. It's a nice matte black colour, which I like. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to fit this because I looked on YouTube, online, everywhere I could on how to fit the blooming thing. And I couldn't find a single video or instruction guide at all. Now there are variations of tank bibs or tank bras. I like to call them tank bras. Um, there are variations. Um, the one I had on my previous bike clipped under the uh, speedo housing and just went down and then laced down at the bottom here. And uh, that was great. Uh, this one is different. So I'm going to show you how to lace this particular type of bag up. What it's got, it's got two hole, uh, four holes at the end there, then four at the ends there, and we're going to try and lace it. Right, um, so what you've got, you've got, you, you've got your four holes at the top, and what you need to do is you need to start with lacing these four first, and you get two sets of laces with this one. So. You've got your holes there. Now normally you'd think lace and lace into the holes from the top, but actually you go from the back. There's a very clever reasoning for this, is it has to go over the lip of the tank. So if you do it that way, it doesn't work right. Whereas this way, there you go, that's how you need to lace it. And then that's the rear of the tank pad, and you can see where it's flat, where it should be flat. We'll sort that out. Right, I've laced up I've laced up the ends and what I've done is I've made it so they come to an equal end there. So they're both equal and then you proffer it up to the tank. Under there. And what you've got is you've got your speedo. Now I've loosened the speedo ever so slightly. loosen the speedo ever so slightly so I can just lift it up and slide it under the speedo. As you can see it goes all the way down and you've got it to the front here. Now I'll show you what you need to do next. Right, as you can see there's a lip on the tank and that is why you have you, you lace it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pass thongs over the rubber fitting that's just inside here. It's where the tank hooks into the frame or onto the frame. And all I'm going to do is hopefully pass it down and it should come. There's one. Hopefully the other one will, the other one will come down. There it is. Come on, fingers down. So what I'm doing is I passed it over that, hook it under there, and as you can see, it hooks over the lip. And uh, that looks all right. And then I bring it to the back, and I've got a lip there, and that's where I'm going to tie it. So basically, that's all you need to do. Do it on the other side, and you're halfway there. Right, as you can see, we've laced it down the side here and you can hook it under the tank itself but I'm going to use it because I want it to stretch either to side so it actually pulls opposite directions and then when the seat's on here it should be fine so you've got to remember there's going to be a seat on there so lace it through now probably the best thing to do 
is to lace it. Oh, let's see. That looks rather good at both ends. It looks good. Actually, it looks really good. And it might be a good idea to have just one lace going through both holes and then tie it under here. That's probably your best bet. Um, but effectively, just tie it off and it's done, quite literally. And then your seat sits on there. I think I think that might be the best thing to do. Hey. Right, as you can see, I've tied the knots on there to protect the tank and everything from the, uh, uh, from the knots. The knot should flatten down when the seat's in place. So when I put the seat in, hook it in, there we go. As you can see, the knots and everything's held in place by the seat. It should all squash down, so it should all be nice and flat, but everything's protected because of the leather of the pad itself. So, Allen key, get the right size Allen key for a start. One. So, just tighten up your Allen bolts and it should all stay in place. And that's free. So, there we go. Seat, hold the tank bra. Speed that down, just give it all a wash and a polish and what should happen is when this gets wet it should then mould to the tank so you don't have to worry about it getting it, it being prominent at the moment it will actually settle down it's just a matter of readjusting and letting it breathe as such so there you go goodbye YouTube